welcome back to Every Day with Nick. Um, I've already done this video once. I don't know what's happened, <laughs> but it's uh, it stopped recording. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. So yeah, welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to be uh, lopping up the last of the logs that I've got. Uh, I'm going to be keeping three of the biggest ones aside, maybe two, um, just to make this chicken house out of uh, that I'm wanting to do. So uh, I'll be milling them down a touch. Obviously I haven't got my, my sawmill made up yet, but I've still got the chainsaw mill. So we can use that. Uh, yesterday I said that I was using the G660 uh, from Hall's Farmer, brilliant saw, but very fatiguing. It's a, it's a, it's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice power head, but it's heavy, and uh, it just takes a lot out of you when you're bending over cutting firewood all day long. Well, not all day long, most of the day. So I, I, I often quite like coming to the old bit. Still MS uh, two sixty. I bought this off a guy who used to be in forestry. It's a 2006, everything's still original on it. Um, brilliant bit of kit. Um, and I said to you, I sharpened the chain. Now, I was, win I was inspired to sharpen the chains by hand by booking Billy Ray on. Oh, I'm sorry about this wind if it's causing anything, any, uh, any muffling. Well, on YouTube by booking Billy Ray, and I was like. I, I, I fancy a bit of that. So, so I, I went. I went at it. Tried sharpening by, by hand. And I would have said I would have done a good job. The gullet was all out. He says always get the gullet out. So get the gullet out. Um, felt like it sharpened the chain properly. But I think what I did was I used the wrong file size. Now I don't know how I've done it. How that's happened. I have because yesterday after being working with a 660 all day I was just a bit tired of it but oh, three, two, I've, got, I've got these they're called um, preferred, preferred chainsaw that uh, chain sharp CSX it's a three in one now it's the copy it's the identical copy of the still three Brilliant bits of kit if you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> um, two round files, uh, three sixteenths or 4.8 mil, with a flat file integrated inside it. it. There's a few videos on these online about them. Brilliant. Now what you do with these is they've they've the right they've the correct orientation pictated on these, so you just line it up. as you would not like as you would with a file now what this does with it being three in one is that it does the teeth the tooth and the depth gauge or raker and it sets it whatever size it is meant to be whatever whatever that gauge is that's where it leaves it at and I went across it yesterday with a three in one There was loads of metal coming out the tooth, so I was like, well, I've obviously done something wrong. So I went right through the whole, whole chain, and, and I went and tested it. My god, it cut like a brand new chain, so I messed up. So that's what we're using today. Uh, we're just going to, like I say, I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five six five or six logs to get through today i want to get this done before it gets any nicer and people start sitting out in their gardens uh, even though it, they're in quarantine they can still enjoy the sun um i'm going to set you up with a time lapse uh, i've got uh, the tractor um, on charge at the moment Where there, 
<laughs> if you, you'll see that anyway. And that's charging my battery because my me, um, me alternator's a bit dud, I think. So we'll get that done. Um, we'll use the tractor to lift the logs. Uh, get get on the summit. Like I say, we'll be using, we'll be keeping three logs back. See, two or three logs. Do a bit of milling with them. I want to make this chicken house as quickly as possible. So um, that's that. I can't think if there was anything off the first video. I should have said in this second video. Uh, I just hope everybody's doing well. Uh, if there's anything that you just want to ask, want to want to see, I'll uh, I'll get on with that. I'll be getting the uh, tractor out with the uh, topper on again, and I'll be going around these these fields that I've got here just to. Uh, because the grass has started to, what, what I trampled down, it started to rise back up again. I do need to um, alter the top link on it. It's uh, it's too short, so I'm going to extend it um, instead of buying one. Because things aren't coming quickly in the nail today at this at the moment. So we'll alter that. And that's about it, really. So. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the time lapse. Hopefully, we'll have a bit of tractor work, a little bit of 260 work, <laughs> and uh, happy days. So, thank you very much.